G'day, it's Mark here at Combi Life and Van Essen Mobile Camping. And we have a really special vehicle here that we prepared for the Australian 4x4 show. We were invited there uh, to the Centre of Excellence for, for Van Life. And uh, Daniel had asked us to really prepare something a little bit special for the Australian 4x4 show. And we have done it with this Ravana Blue TDI 450 4 Motion T6.1 short wheelbase transporter. It has arrived with quite a number of nice factory options and then we've gone to work on it over quite a number of days to bring it up to what you see here before you. I'm gonna try my best to go through everything that's on this vehicle. We can see here at the front that it has been fitted with, uh, from the factory, the LED lights are here at the factory and the fog lights, cornering fog lights. This is an essential thing to do if you're ordering your transporter from scratch. But we've also added onto it uh, our nudge bar and recovery points, our 8,000 kilogram rated recovery points and nudge bar to complement some of the other off-road equipment we've fitted, which includes the cycle engine and gearbox guard. And further back, we'll get some cutaways to it. The fuel tank guard, the muffler guard or the exhaust guard that also covers the SCR, the rear diff guard, and indeed the rock slider. So if we come around this side, we will see the rock slider here. So this is fully equipped, this vehicle. Uh, although we haven't put yet the diff breathers in, we haven't had the time for the diff breathers. But we have also fitted it with our new Bravo, Bravo raised air intake, sometimes called the snorkel. But the raised air intake is really, really, really neatly done. And we've got the air intake facing backwards. We've done a number of trips recently out to the outback Birdsville, Monday, Monday, for those big events out there. And it's really reassuring to have all that dust coming from the vehicle ahead of you not going directly into into the air filter so that's uh that's quite a nice enhancement you'll also see at the front of this vehicle uh electrically despite these lights being particularly effective uh and even with the high beams we have fitted the laser leds and we have featured these before but i have recently done a trip with these laser LEDs uh, for quite a bit of night driving. And it's just remarkable the night and day effect of these laser LEDs, despite the fact I may have my high beams on in the first place. And just to be honest, a little bit more for looks rather than just for the illumination effect is the Osram 40 inch light bar at the top, which is one of our front runner enhancements. So we can already see there is a front runner platform on here. We'll look at that in a bit more detail in a minute, but we do have this Osram light bar. So Matthew, if you've got a moment just to go in front of the vehicle, I'm gonna turn these lights on now. So we should have lights on. We should have high beams on. We should now have laser LED on. And now we should have top light bar off. I mean, that is probably blinding the camera. I'll turn them off progressively and back on in the opposite order. And back to parking lights there as well. So that is, this at night is just particularly impressive. Moving on, we've done more with the off-road intent. And that is evidence here in the wheel wells. We can firstly see that we've added these pretty impressive Maxxis all terrains, the Razor AT, and there's special 225 7017. This is what we had on the Rockton as well. You would have seen some of our Rockton videos. The 225 7017, it's a mud and snow tire. I believe it's uh, winter rated as well, three peaks rated and it is light truck load rated. So this is impressive. The tire is a little bit noisier, of course, than a, than a standard tire, but still nothing like I've experienced with some of the competitors out there in terms of, their, in terms of the noise. So the rating here is 115112S there. So that's, that's very good. So 225.7017. We can also see through here the cycle symbol. So the cycle symbol is representing here, of course, the cycle raised suspension. So this has lifted the vehicle 
good 30 plus mils and we also now have additional height which I'll put on the screen below from the I just don't have it off the top of my head the uh, 225 70 17 but we would have moved to um, you know a good seven plus percent additional there also uh, it's not strictly necessary with this tire and rim combination which I'll get to the rims in a sec but we have also added these um, swamper guards they sometimes are called but that adds a, certainly a good degree of presence on this vehicle but also adds uh, a little bit for these wider offset tires. So sometimes in the past when we've run this tire size, you can feel a bit of scrubbing on full lock. That's not been the case here on um, full lock left or right, because we are using these Sun Racer rims here, which are a, a pretty popular steel rim, very strong rim in the four wheel drive crowd from Dynamic. And these Sun Racers are a 17 by eight with a 30p offset, a 17 by 8 with a 30p offset. So that is just offset correctly. So correct offset for this size rim and this size tire. Uh, and then consequently, we've had no scrubbing. So obviously at the back, we've got the race suspension there as well. We fitted front and rear. So you can see, uh, you can see there's a great, uh, a great clearance and a great presence and a great capability with this vehicle. Moving on to some of the other external features here. This particular vehicle also had the bread van vents. That's quite a rare option, but quite nice for ventilation. Uh, we also have the front runner full length short wheelbase platform. So on a transporter van, you do not have the, the rail mount like on a multi van. You have fixed points, the fixed points, except the blade mounts. The blade mounts are in four contact points there. So it's, uh, Volkswagen rate the four contact points as 200 kilograms dynamically of weight. So we can put a fair amount on the roof if we're so inclined. We don't want to push it to those limits, but we have put on our 58 kilogram iCamper X cover rooftop tent. The iCampers are you know, some of the best and uh, most revered uh, rooftop tents in Australia. The X cover is a special one. It is soft shell, not like the uh, 3.0 four person hard shell, but the benefit of the soft shell is not only do you get four open sides for great ventilation upstairs, there's also roof racks on the top of this vehicle, which will probably be difficult to see when we're close up. So we've mounted the iCamper to the platform with the quick release bracket. So if we want to get this tent off or any of the other similar tents, we do have the quick release, uh, we do have the quick release mounting brackets up in here so we can release that like this and quickly release the tent if we wish to. And obviously you could put your little wire padlocks on there if you're concerned about that. Also up here, I'll just see if I can grab this, we'll see the tire. So that tire, the 22570 is not going to fit into the spare wheel well. So we have indeed placed some tie down rings and the front runner stratchets to secure that. And you'll also see on the roof here, a couple of the new Wolfpack Pro boxes also secured to the tent. We can also see from factory here, we've got the factory glass with the factory flush fitting sliding opening window. Also for four wheel drive intent, just briefly moving while we're on this side of the vehicle, we can see here, we have got the off-road pack fitted. That's what Volkswagen now calls it, but it is the mechanical rear diff lock and it is the hill descent control and the hill start assist. An absolutely fantastic uh, feature there as well. Let's go and move around uh, the vehicle. If you uh, find a great four motion vehicle to buy and it doesn't have the diff lock, that's fine. It's very capable, but it's always nice to have the diff lock available. Moving to the inside of the vehicle, we fitted this with the Arco system, the Van Esser Arco system. The Arco system is, is particularly impressive in its capabilities to bear a high degree of weight on the slider. So it's a 250 kg rated slider. Not many people I know have ever put that much on there, but it has been tested uh, in some of our applications. The core of the system is the single bed, which is this tunnel system here. And we can expand it out with this extension to make a double bed. We also have had previously in here, there'll be some cutaway shots. So when we have the single bed, we might have our sporting items here. I had my uh, bike in here earlier for the four wheel drive show. So the Arco has multiple good storage drawers, utensil drawers. We've got the twin burner stove set up in here, additional utility drawer, and that 
and neatly folds away. There's our cooker, we have our sink, our extension table here, and on the back, just before I retract it, we can see our water supply, 13 litres. There's the twin burner stove with the uh, with the fuel canisters there for the Primus Kenya twin burner stove. Fantastic stove, by the way, 10,500 BTUs on that particular stove. Let's make sure the buttons are in before we retract, and that's now retracting neatly. We can also see on the inside here, we have some additional lighting. So there are three additional lights in this van. We also have our fan. We can also see in the vehicle, it's a full interior lining, curtain system, etc. There's insulation in the roof, insulation in the walls, sound deadening in the walls, sound deadening on the floor, sound deadening on the wheel arches. It is really well insulated. This is a marine grade carpet. It can literally be washed if you need to wash it. It's also been applied to the rear tailgate. We can see this marine grade carpet. Curtains are installed as well. And we'll close this down and we'll see that we also have the rear ladder, which allows us to get up onto the roof. And I have to say, it's a really, really nice additional feature for this transporter. Just coming around to uh, the passenger side, we can see we've already seen the tent and the roof pack boxes, but we can see we've also fitted the Fiamma F45S 2.6 meter black awning. And we can also see here, so that projects two meters. We could fit a three meter awning there as well, projecting 2.5 meters. But we can see some of the interior space here uh, with the Arco single or double bed. There's plenty of storage room underneath. Plenty of storage room on the other side there as well. We can also see we've fitted swivel seats. One is swiveled, one is not currently swiveled. And under the driver's seat is the lithium battery with the solar connector. So we have a solar regulator there, for ready for the solar panel. Additional sockets here. There are additional sockets in the back. We also have the, I'll just load up the Invicta Lithium app. So we'll launch our app and we should be able to find the bus. I think it's this one here. And we'll see if that comes up just in a sec with that particular battery. There it is, it's sitting at 99%. It's on discharge because we have lights running inside the van and I can see the amp draw on the Invicta Lithium battery. If I put another light on, I'll see that value change just now, one amp. Minus one amp, we'll put another light on and we'll see it's now at minus 1.4 amps. So we can monitor our consumption of the battery uh, very comfortably through the app. We also have a Victron charger there as well. So if we are stationary at a powered site, we can turn the Victron charger on as well and charge the battery while stationary at a powered site or connect the solar panel as well. There are a number of other factory features on this van. So not only with the Ravana Boo uh, metallic paint, factory glass, which is fantastic with the flush fitting windows that open and provide ventilation and work with our ventilation grills. There are a number of other factory options, uh, including driver aids um, and so on. We'll list those in, uh, in the screen at the end, the factory options on this vehicle. So there you have it, a particularly rare short wheelbase, twin turbo, 454 motion, 22 model, just relatively recently arrived and fitted out for this Australian 4x4 show. You should also be able to see it at the Canberra show and they'll be available for you to come and test drive and maybe make it yours. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Press the a little alarm bell if you want to be notified of new videos. Any questions, please drop us a line or give us a buzz here at Combi Life here at Sydney or at our Burley Heads facility. Thanks for watching.